This is my boy Choco. We about to uh, load him up and let him get a little workout today. This is my sandbag weights that match the vest. You just slide them in the pocket just like this. Close that up with your Velcro strap. Load it up. You can load the back. You can just have weights on the on the front legs, or you can just have weights on the back leg, or you can work the whole body out. You know, that's the advantage of having a weighted animal vest. <coughs> you work the front and the back leg. These other weight vests are these uh, front leg plates, or I mean front leg, where you can put the weights on on the front legs and all that. But a dog need a full body workout in order to gain full maximum strength, as you can see right here. Now, I got all four of them, and this is the largest vest. This vest right here will fit from 100 pound dog up to 140 pounds. Top hold is about 110. <coughs> Put your weights in the back also. Put your weights in the back. And you can put however many you want, but he used to it, so he can take the whole thing. And he's a pretty big dog too, so. And this vest weighs up to 14 pounds. From 1.5 up to 14. So you can put however many you want to on that. So we're about to put all the weights in there. I got one more left. And the weight, uh, weights match the vest too. So that's the advantage. These other weight vests, they don't even give you the weights with it. You have to go out and buy your own sand and your weight. Weights to put off in your uh, weight vest. The purpose of buying a weight vest is to have the weights and everything with it. See what I'm saying? So that's the base right there. So he a little wobbly right now because he got that weight on. But see, this is working out. He used that. What's up, boy? All right, let's go. You want to go? Yeah. This don't move around. It don't shake. This got a Velcro strap going across the bottom right here. See that? So this is padded. With one inch, a half an inch padded. And it's got a strap on it where you can tighten it up. See what I'm saying? That is snug to the dog. These straps right here go across the chest so it don't rub on your dog leg or none of that. See what I'm saying? And we also got, give me that strap pad. Go in the house with that strap pad so I can show them how to put the strap pad on there. <coughs> this right here comes with a strap pad. My son went to go get the strap pad so we can show you how to put that on there. So I can take both of these off and the vest still on there because yeah. I got this bottom strap on here. Most of these vests come with these <coughs> Straps to go across the bottom of the dog, that's not that's not comfortable for the dog. Something needs to be padded when you're putting a strap on a dog. So, I'm gonna my son come with his pad. This has a one inch padding off in it also, so you put this on your straps. You don't want a strap going across a dog just plain like that because it's gonna feel not feel comfortable. So what we do, we got these pads, you just add your pad on there. Strap. Took what? Two seconds to put that on there. And then you suggest you then put that on there. Now you got this right here that's soft on the dog. You don't want no strap just laying on your dog like this. That's uncomfortable because when they lay down and get up and stuff, you don't want it to be just straight strap on the dog. You can put it here and you can order another one. And that strap goes all the way up under here. So it makes the dog feel good when he lay down. Mm -hmm. Okay? Alright? There it is, right there. It's got all my weights in it. The back is for the work the back legs. See how his back legs is right here? That's work the back legs. If you got weights just on the front, how your back legs gonna work out? So this is the advantage of the weighted animal vest. They have your dog work his whole full body. See, you wanna go sit down now? See, if you walking your dog, then that'll be an advantage. All right, good. good.